Hey, what's up guys? Anjusan here, and this is a fight on Crossroads. My opponent is another 10-star general named Santi, and I'm going to go for a melee rush type strategy on this map. Now, I did bring one unit of Bow Warrior Monks, and I brought two units of Matchlock Warrior Monks, so hopefully I'll be able to actually close with him soon. I've got two very well veteran Nodachi Samurai, three Katana Samurai, and uh, Naginata Warrior Monk. So what I'm going to do is set up on this side so I have an elevation advantage. And I imagine since there are no key buildings, my opponent's going to do the same thing. So let's go ahead and uh, get these formations set up. And you can see I also went light on Cav. I just have two Grey Guard with two light Cav. And I intend to use them as a reactionary force, but I don't know, we'll see. Right now it's just the deployment phase, trying to get my forces set up. What I think I might actually do is put my Nadachi out front. So if my opponent does have match logs and whatnot, I'll be able to close in quickly with my Nodachi Bonsai. And I'm not going to dismount my general yet, just in case my opponent decides to you know, roll his general with his cab in this fight. Oh, almost forgot my Naginata warrior monks. Keep these guys to the back. And just using them for a war cry. Now the problem is, if I advance too quickly, then I won't be able to use that war cry. So i got to kind of hold these guys back a little bit. And I'm going to keep one of the light cab out, just to possibly scout. Alright, so I'm ready. To my opponent ready when he is. And I'm going to start on this side of the map because I want this elevation advantage. I mean, as you can see, this is one big slope downhill. And if you start off down here, you know, you're giving your opponent an opportunity to get downhill charge on you and whatnot. And I just don't want to let that happen. Where am I not going to that again? Okay. And you see I've got my other two great guards with my light cuff camped in this forest. I'm just going to hold them back. I don't want to... You use them as a mobile attacking unit because it's all the cav I have for this fight. And I don't know if my opponent's going to roll cav heavy or not. Oh, I guess he is ready. Okay. So, I'm going to send these units of light cav forward to scout. Look at my opponent's army real quick. Wow. This looks like a box. <laughs> This is amazing. He's got some bow warrior monks camped up in this box. And you know, this is fine. What I'm going to do is attack from these trees. He can have his box, and I will safely park my forces in the trees. Where is his cap at? Did you bring any calf, buddy? He sees what I'm doing. There we go. Great guard. Oh, and he's got fire rockets. Nice. Okay. a little opening. I'm going to try to go in for his archers, which I do manage to get inside his square. Perfect. And this is basically just going to keep him distracted and allow me to position my forces up. I didn't do too much damage to his bow warrior monks and whatnot, but that's fine. I'm going to take my other unit of light cav and try
try to hit his Grey Guard. I did take out some of his fire rockets as well. I need to get these guys moved quick so these bow warrior monks do not you know, destroy me too quickly. And I want to get my general up here and get him dismounted as well because I am not about to get sniped by fire rockets. Luckily he did not bring much cav it looks like, so... What units is he shooting at? Looks like he just brought that one unit of Grey Guard, which is pretty weird. Nice downhill charge on these Grey Guard with my light cav. Fortunately, they are not going to do too much damage. So now that I've got my Bow Warrior Monks in this tree cover, I'm going to start targeting his army. And my general is dismounted. I'll go ahead and put him in stand and fight. Oh, what to shoot, what to shoot. Whistling arrows as well. So you can see the standard no brain box formation. I want to try to get a look at this ground. Now I can move my match locks up and hopefully put these guys in range. So I'm going to control click my match locks. So they advance slowly. Perfect. It's time to go ahead and put my bot. No, yeah, no dodge, he's in bonsai. And advance. Unfortunately, he did get to my bow warrior monks. But that is fine. It is time to bring my great guard to this fight. And I'm actually... Time to get my melee rush on. Also gonna bring forward my warrior monks and try to get that good war cry in on his units. Yeah, he really doesn't stand a chance in this fight. Those fire rockets are such a waste. And that's pretty much the battle. And you know, my opponent, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he was trying to do, honestly. The new box never really works. I guess he tried to go for a mobile new box in that fight. Uh, it's whatever. Not a very interesting fight, but I think I did fairly well. 
And despite all the spear units, my Grey Guard held up pretty well too. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. You know, not as interesting as a live commentary should be, but that's how you effectively use your terrain, maneuver, and you know, try to get a good vantage point on an opponent using tactics like that. And luckily for me, he did not start off in that forest, so I was able to, you know, maneuver around his flank instead of trying to do a head-on charge. Alright, so here's the results for that fight. You can see I deployed 1,514 units, lost 448, and killed 1,026. So all in all, it's a pretty good kill-to-death ratio for that fight. Go ahead and look at my kill count. You can see my Nodachis. They got a fair amount with my Katana Cav, or my Katana Sams, and my Great Guards. Matchlock Warrior Monks, uh, they did decent. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. And, oh, I see I got a new uh, helmet. Let's check that out. Kabuto Helmet of Date. Um, I'm not even going to try. But I am interested to see what it looks like. Let's pull up Chesty Puller real quick. Oh. Yeah, it looks like so many other helmets. Oh well. Well, that looks pretty crazy. <laughs> what? I'm gonna keep that. That's cool. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that fight, and let's do a later board update real quick. Oh nice. Now I'm at 183, and I've got a streak of four. Take it easy, and I'll see you next time.